welcome back and we're looking at our last Dorian lick for the moment. Okay, we've got a whole solo of these to go through soon, but for now, this is one more Dorian lick, okay? And this one's gonna be based entirely in the pentatonic shape four in A Dorian again. Okay, so we're sticking to the same key to learn the licks in. Um, just based in the shape four and using the Dorian shape in that area, okay? So we're just using this pentatonic shape four. And we're using the full Dorian scale there, which is going to sound like this. Remember, ends, try and start and end on A. I'm just showing you the whole scale for now, but when you do it, start and end on A, so you really got a good vibe of the Dorian sound. Okay. So, as you just heard, the lick goes something like this. I'll put my overdrive on. Okay, so let's take it through the two halves. The first half is this. In fact, we'll break it into three because that's a good place to stop. So we're starting in that same shape, okay? And we're kicking off by hammering on from the 12 to 14 again. This is a really typical way to start because you're hitting the root note to kick off. Okay, so exactly the same as the last lick. Now, Santana is well known for his rhythmical guitar playing as well, so creating really cool melodies, okay? And the reason I wanted to start so similarly to the last lick is because I want to show you how you can get so much out of one little place using just a different melody, okay? So here, in terms of notes, we'll get to the melody in two seconds, we're going to hammer on there, then we're going to do it again. Come back to the 12th fret, and then down to the 14th fret on the D string. So we've got... And then we're going to slide into that F sharp. So this F sharp is your Dorian note, remember, okay? And I'm just going to semitone slide from the F to the F sharp to create a really cool, almost like jazzy little effect, okay? It's really nice. And then back quickly to the A root note, okay? So we're doing basically pentatonics and then just sliding into that F sharp note to create a really Santana vibe, okay? So like this. more time then the second bit is like this so we're using much more of the scale now we're not using the F sharp we're not using that raised sixth but we are using notes outside of the pentatonic within our Dorian scale uh, we're using the third okay so that's gonna make a big difference to the sound because it's not pentatonics anymore okay so it's still Dorian it's not the key the key, you know, it's not the main raised six, but it's still gonna sound really cool, okay? So, we've got A, which we're gonna play three times. This kind of little twitchy guitar playing is, is very typically, you know, Carlos Santana. So we hit that, one, two, three. Then we go and grab the 12th fret, the B, then the C, then the D, then hit the E at the top. And then from the E, we come back to the A root note again for two more hits. So we get this. Okay. So that's just moving through our Dorian shape four, okay? So, so far, we've got this all together. One, two, three, four. Now, the next part sounds like this. Okay, so this is a classic kind of, right, I've had enough of all this lovely melodic stuff, and now I'm gonna go like crazy with pentatonic fast runs, okay? So what we're gonna kick off with is the 15th fret uh, B string, bending up a whole tone, okay, somewhere around there, and then grabbing the E string underneath on the 12th fret and going, Okay, so similar to what we did down here in the last lick. Okay, but now it's up in the, four, uh, the fourth shape. Okay, so we're gonna go bend up first, tone, then grab twice, then we're gonna do it again. So exactly the same lick twice, okay? And remember, you wanna get the aggression on this. 
So even if you do end up kind of getting a bit of the sound together, that's actually a really cool thing. You know, that's gonna really actually bring to life this, rather than it being too perfect, perhaps. Let's go. Just really go for it, okay? Now then, at that point, we're gonna grab the 15th fret of the E string, and then pull off to the 12th fret. Okay, nice simple lick, but we're gonna do it a few times. Okay, and then a bend at the end. So one, two, three, and then a full tone bend at the end, which we're gonna stop dead. So like this. Okay, so that second part all together is. Okay, so let's put that all together. Okay, the whole lick. One, two, three, four. Two. Here we go, and. Okay, so you've got the tab, you can slow it down even more than that if you want to really get to grips with it. But of course, just like the other lick, we then want to challenge you, can you put this in different keys? So this one's actually easier because we're just in one shape. So let's just choose, for example, the key of D, Dorian, or D minor. Can we put this into that key, okay? So for me, I know that I've got a D root note on the A string here, and that's where I'm gonna find my pentatonic shape four. Again, as complicated as I get with my guitar playing, I can always rely on the fact that I can put my pentatonics in the right place and layer up this modal sound on top of it, okay? This really helps me. So once I'm here, I know I've got my, my Dorian shape as well here. do is just rehash the lick. And then, and there we have it, right? Amazing. So, you've got your second lick, you want to learn it and then try and move it into different keys. We will talk more about improvising at the end of the next set of lessons, okay? So I don't think that's the last we're going to talk about it, but you need to be kind of trying it out now. So hopefully you've got a slightly better understanding of the Dorian mode. You've got all kinds of shapes that you can use. I'm just pointing out for you here that typically shape one and shape four, certainly as Santana's playing, get used the most. So good luck with that and I'll see you next time.